Okay, folks. Here we are. Entering the final stages of the Balakian project. And uh, this is where we left off with the cra crappy video. I don't know. If I get it closer, can you see it any better? Nah, it's still kind of crappy. Oh, well. Um... So this is what we have. This is what we have so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stands. Here they are from the front. Anyhow, they're done. So what's left? Well, the commander, of course. That's what everybody's been waiting for. That and um, that and the impaled. So I have an idea for how I'm going to do these impaled guys, um, because I don't like to, I don't want to glue them where they're supposed to be. And um, I want them on a temporary basing here. So let me take a look at that because I thought about that today. That's not what we're going to delve in today, but I, I do want to take a look at them. So these are um, these are uh, 3D printed, and I figured if I could put them in these corks to hold them temporarily, just like that, that's how we're going to paint them. Don't have to stick much in there. We'll paint them right on these corks. Let's go ahead and uh, put a cork on it. Let's go ahead and do that and, and base them in black, and then we'll go mess with the big man himself. Because I don't want to play this army without these impaled guys. This will be their camp. And just like this, there's going to be a... small portion that's going to be stuck into the terrain. Evening, bring on Vlad, bring on the Vlad, yeah. That's all fun and games until you until he wants to use you as a garden ornament. <laughs> all right. I got a ton of these. These were sitting inside the office. These were given to me like three years ago, and I just hadn't taken them home. Let's see. Let's adjust this. There we go. I just haven't taken them home. But these corks I use for other things. They're really handy for this because this doesn't weigh anything. Usually, whatever I'm sticking into it is top heavy and weighs a lot more than the cork. So I'm always having a fight with it, but not this time. Not this time, pal. And I don't know how anal retentive I'm going to be on this as far as how much detail I'm going to give these corpses. It doesn't look like there's any flesh on them. But it is just a camp but it does set the tone for the rest of the army. I'm gonna stick them all on here. I don't know how many guys I'm gonna use in the camp. Probably all of them. Probably all of them. Did I manage to see the true horror episode? I started it and then I watched like five minutes of it, or seven minutes or something, and I, over the weekend, and I got called off into something else. So, no, I haven't watched it. Um, the, the quality of the version that's on YouTube is pretty poor. It's not unwatchable, but it's pretty poor. Um, I read a book on them, a novel, I don't know if I mentioned that before, which was kind of uninspiring. 
a mixture of you know, none of the vampire crap, just the historical part. But there's, you know, conversations that that supposedly went on between him and his wife or something like that. And, you know, a bunch of made-up crap, you know. Tidying the studio today. Always recommend a good cleanup to avoid those random bits of dust that find their way onto your varnish job. Yeah. Tidy up. Oh, it was off by one. Look at that. So I've been thinking since this was coming up soon, how I was going to attach these guys. I didn't really want to glue them on something and break it off because these guys are kind of... I don't have a lot of confidence in this 3D material. It's not like it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a form that I'm used to dealing with. No, it was actually off by two. Here's the other one. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 of them, huh? How much wine did I drink? <laughs> I don't drink wine. I guess these are for like test tubes or whatever. They came in a big bag. We had some at work and the guy's like, hey, do you, do you need them? Can you use these? I'm like, yep. And that was like three years ago and I, I had left them at work. No, I don't drink wine. That's a good way for me to get a headache. Ah, the Russians are here. <laughs> oh, I can't do that from that screen. I need to. Although this guy's name doesn't look Russian. Catch them with animal grease. No, that's that's later. I don't think I'm gonna paint it that close on the figure. Um, where's surface primer? Over here. Am I going to do a camp of impaled? You betcha. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to attempt to do. If it looks like crap, won't do it. But um, it's not my first rodeo. I may not get it right the first time, but it'll turn out okay. I have, uh, if you look on my channel, I did an unboxing of these guys. I found them on the internet. I don't remember what the name of the company is. I want to say it's called Dungeon Torch. I could be wrong. Um, but they have all kinds of other stuff too. And let's switch to this other screen where things come up a little faster. Um, all right. A brush we don't love so much. And... A lid. But some of those craft blocks really struggle with PVA and sticks, but craft blocks and blue tack, loverly. <laughs> All right, this is. Hopefully, not going to make a mess. Oh, I didn't get anything on my thumb. Good. That should be enough. This co stuff covers really well. Which is good because it's really expensive. Well, it's $20. I mean, which is, you know, pretty expensive for just black paint. But I think we can do this one. I think we can use a fairly obscenely large brush all right here we go now this stuff does like to play and no i did not wash this ahead of time washing stuff washing figures come on 
Ain't nobody got time for that. This guy's up on a really tall one. Oh, already got some black on me. Now I need to put these guys in a place where I'm not going to have to interact with them and knock them down. There's one. Because I want these guys ready to go when we roll into them next. Because here's hoping that I can play with this army next Monday. Here's hoping. And I just don't think they're going to do as well as the Irish are. <laughs> the Irish really are, are, have done really well considering how light of an army they are. Ah, shit. Well, that's why you wear black. Wow. Well, oh, got it on the shirt. Be right back. That's never happened in 35 years of painting. Came out of that pretty well, honestly. I don't make messes. I think because this thing is so damn light and I bumped it. Got like one drop on a black shirt, like perfect. Oh. I do my own stunts. All right, let's change one thing. Let's jack this thing up. In this step. There we go. Now. Let's try this again from the top. If it happens one more time, we're not going to do this anymore. We'll go back and do in Dracula by himself. This is why I use a cardboard just in case something like that were to happen. Because I don't want to. I don't want to have one of those cutting slash painting mats with a bunch of colors and stuff on it, or a, a painting shirt. I've seen several people, I thought it was only one person, but actually I've seen several people that actually have a shirt that looks like they've wiped their brush and stuff on it. Come on, man. That's distracting. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, man. Never a dull moment, right? Never a dull moment. See, those pro painters that have on their channel, they wouldn't show that. They'd be like, oh, I don't make any mistakes. I didn't. I really didn't make a mess. It's actually a freaking miracle. 
Oh, this guy's going to be difficult, huh? Okay. You know, in spray painting, this makes no sense for a couple of reasons. First of all, the spray paint is enamel, and if it has any kind of a flex, it'll crack off. And then also, in trying to get into these small spaces, no wonder you got impaled by Dracula. You're being a little bastard. <laughs> All right, we'll come back to you. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to have to touch some of these guys up anyways. But um, I just want to be able to hit the ground running when we come back to these guys here. And this step is already complete. I don't think I'm just going to dry brush them and then just, you know, a wash and call it a day. I'm, I can't do the, I can't do the kind of detail I've done with the rest of the army and then just throw this kind of out the window, you know. I'd rather have one skeleton that's impaled that looks really good than 14 that don't. So... No, I guess everybody's just awestruck. <laughs> Boy, this is this guy is really low to the ground. I thought maybe he'd sunk a whole lot. No, he's pretty low to the ground. Maybe my system wasn't completely foolproof. You know, that's what I'm going to do. Moving forward. Four left. And this particular manufacturer, they, I think all of their stuff is irrespective of scale. In other words, here's all the stuff that we have that you can pick whether you want it in 15, 20, 20, you know, whatever scale you want. I don't know if they have all of the scales available. Like, I don't know if this is available in 20s, but I know it's available, this stuff's available in 28s as well, so. And these guys seem like they'd be pretty durable because I think it's a good combination between flexibility and and brittleness. In other words, this stuff is, these, these, um, these prints are not too brittle where they're going to crack and they're also not too bendy where they're just pain i think is going to flake off so it seems like they're pretty good it seems like they're pretty good so nordic maelstrom ah you missed the oil spill now you go back and watch it it's underwhelming actually But it would make sense that this is what I would make a, set, uh, a mess doing because I'm kind of going about this a lot more haphazardly than I would in my normal painting. For starters, I hardly use any paint amount to begin with in my painting. This I've got to actually throw some, some stuff out there. It's the last guy right here.
Okay. They're done. Let's rinse that before something happens. Get this out of the field of fire. Let's go take this little bit of paint off here. You're actually painting along with me tonight. Okay, I've been warned. Okay, now let's carefully, carefully put these guys, say like in a box or something, somewhere they're not going to cause any trouble. As they're drying, So we don't have a mishap. The problem with a mishap is it just takes time, you know. I didn't come online here to make a mess and watch you guys clean it up. So Hello from El Paso. What do I think of the Maurice rules? Playability. Saw a couple of videos of gameplay. I bought seven Years War 15 millimeter. We really like them. Um, I've played three games of it. Mitch has played a lot more. Joel, uh, which is a Mitch, but Mitch's buddy that now moved into Florida from where Mitch used to live, Illinois. He really likes them and he's painting armies for them. Um, I think they're really cool. Um, I, I, I don't love the period, so I don't need to get pulled into something else. I could see the games be could, could be fairly repetitive. Um, with that said, it's a really cool game. Um, but, uh, 28 millimeter lizard men. It's the last year 28s, and you're just gonna, you're just gonna give up on 28s. Good for you. <laughs> I don't dislike 28s, just took way too long to paint. All right, here's the dudes. Here's the dudes. And here's the main dude right here. So we're gonna do a spot check, make sure we, I put this out of the way and it's in the way. We'll make sure we have black everywhere we need it. I don't think we need to switch this thing out yet. I think it's got a little bit more life in it. I think we can make do with this one. We're gonna need more black than that. This guy's heavy on the black. I got a pretty good idea how I want to paint them, so. Now, this isn't a figure that's specifically made for Dracula. Um, I believe there is, um, well, it's not a question of faith. It's, it, it really is. There's a um, Donington, or whatever the hell they're called these days. I can never remember. Um, they make an actual Vlad figure. But he doesn't look anything like this. He's wearing plate mail and stuff. So really, it could be anybody. Um, this guy's got almost like that Vavod hat on and everything. So we're going to make this guy look like the correct guy. And he's got everything I wanted. I wanted him to have a sword and a bow. And he's got all that stuff. And um, he, is, he will be a cavalry general. And um, one of my favorite general types. A lot of people don't like cavalry. I do. 
nice and mobile and mobility when they need it. All right, let's just touch up any of these things that it, the black paint has been scuffed on. It's all, almost always the things on the extremities where they've rubbed up against something else. Now, I, wanted, I was going to give this guy a cape, okay? But in doing so, I may, it's, I may have to hide it behind the bow or do something weird with it. So I'm not going to do that. I mean, he's not going to have a cape. You know, he'll have to, his reputation is just going to have to precede himself. Is going to, uh, yeah, yeah, that. All right, so let's cover that horse all in black because he's going to have a black horse or a damn near completely black horse. How come all the leaders have white horses? Well, it depends who the leader is. <laughs> I don't want to put this guy on a white horse. It just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit who he's going to be. So. Doesn't fit who he's going to be. Now, I am going to have the horse have a little bit of, a tiny little bit of a brown tinge. So we're going to go grab SS Camo Black, which is really extremely dark brown. I will still collect Lord of the Rings line and burrows and badges. How about a game of burrows and badges? What's the terminology for that? Anthropomorphic? Something like that. When animals have human-like creatures. Scott has a thing about that. He doesn't like games that... I've never played one, so I've... I don't think there's anything... I don't think there's anything wrong with it, necessarily. I've never played a game that has had those anthropomorphic... I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. But... Um, if I was reading it, I'd be able to see, but it's not exactly a word that I've ever used before, so. Um, Scott's the one that doesn't like it, you know. I guess he's played a lot of games there. I think it, I could have fun with, like, turtles or frogs or something like that. That'd be cool. Stepped away for a minute. Did Tony say... Where that Vlad figure was from. I did not, but it's an Essex figure. It's in one of the Eastern Command packs. And if it's not Vlad, it's somebody that looks very close to him. And it will work just fine. I mentioned last night, for those of you guys that were on here, that... Um, should have an unboxing to do tomorrow. Um, maybe two, but I'm only going to do one regardless. So uh, that to wait a day for that. But uh, we got some figures from Essex coming, and um, we got some brushes that we're going to see how they work out. Now I don't think I'm going to add any more brown to this. I think, oh, of course, of course, white is dead. There we go.
think that's about good for now. All right, so what the hell's going to be red on him? Well, the center part of his hat, his whole coat. That's for sure. So, let me make sure I don't have... Okay. All right. How do I exit this thing on here? Sorry, I had to have my messages up in case my daughter ran into trouble. And throw anthropomorphic. Anthrop anthropomorphic. Okay. Uh, looked up the skeletons, did the Kickstarter for those. They're from Printable Scenery, I think. I did an unboxing on them on my channel. I don't remember who they are. That, that doesn't sound right. It may be the same skeletons, but... I can't remember. I'm happy with them. They also did the furniture for the Pope's chair and stuff. So they do good, they do good stuff. All right, reds. Bring out your red. We want the deep red. Well, flat. The red, the reddish, least amount of orange in it. Okay, and we're going to start off with his hat. Think they're the same STLs. Okay. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. I'm not I had several people that wanted me to get into 3D printing. I don't have the personality for it. Let's put it that way. I don't have the personality for that. Um Take a look at one thing for a second. Yeah. A little bit dark. Got it. Okay, cool. All right. So, first things first, let's do his hat. never done a hat first but it's going to set the pace for everything now where are some of these detailed brushes here speaking of cleaning up oh man i'm not at work anymore i'm not supposed to be doing any more bending over come on have a heart <laughs> Have a heart. All right. Let's get our black out here. And our red. We're just painting in the little liner at the very top. This is why I don't finish the horse all the way because my fingers are really close to the edge of the horse so it doesn't take much for me to scuff up the paint job on the edge of the horse while I'm twisting this around. It's not a big deal but there's no point in redoing stuff if I don't have to. Alright, let's add a little bit more red.
that. We'll come up and brighten that up a little bit more. There's a tiny little bit of chain mail basically covering his neck. So let's go ahead and take care of that before we have to do that at a time when there's other colors around it and we could actually get paint on stuff we didn't want to. You've decided to not go with Italian Wars for my next project. Did some research, found the history of the period, just did nothing for me. <gasps> what? Well, it's not for everybody. The history is extremely complicated. Hey, do what you want to do. And just like that, I'm out of beverage. What we're gonna do? Oh yeah. Try brushy brushy. I really can't see shit in front of my face. When I got my contacts out, I can't see anything. I'm running around like freaking Velma. I'm not gonna explain that one. You either get it or you don't. I think that's the only chain mail on this figure. All right. I got to go get some tea. I'll be right back. Come on, Scooby-Doo, we got a lot to do now, that's right. I watched that as a kid, because that's all we had. Kids are spoiled now, they watch whatever the hell they want all the time. We were stuck with whatever the hell the... TV executives decided we were privileged to watch. The, the privilege that we had to watch things. That was the case for everything. Sunday morning, you wanted to watch TV on Sunday morning? You were limited to like one channel that had TV programming. So, Lost in Space it is. <laughs> you're watching freaking Lost in Space. Unless you don't want to watch any TV, in which case, you know, you're on your own. So, <laughs> um... This is a guy who might have gloves on, but I'm not going to give him gloves 
because I need to just have some flesh on him other than his face. Okay, so just for the purpose of that, we're not going to give him gloves. So let's do the um, let's do the edging on the hat before we get into that. And that red that's on the top of the hat, we may end up bringing that up some, but it's a little too early to say so far. thought about that show in forever yeah because there's better stuff on now <laughs> I never like cartoons that end up basically being the same thing every time you know like nothing's gonna happen to any of the kids they're always gonna catch person at the end it's like why am I watching this I mean, when it was on, it was old. It was old already. What the hell am I doing? Other than not paying attention, I'm darkening it more. That's not the right way to go. <laughs> Use your brain. <laughs> we, we'd like to finish this guy tonight. <laughs> and that's not the way to do it. And I'm going to have definitely a hard cutoff about 9 o'clock. So I got about an hour and a half and that's it. I may not be able to finish him tonight. I may have to pick up a a smaller relative. <laughs> she didn't want to drive at night. I don't blame her. Not she's going very far, but still. Okay, and we'll brighten that up a little bit either. I just want to get the idea of what's there. Now, his jacket. Let's, uh, let's pull this color that's over here. I don't use it very often. Your favorite is Transformers Just Generation 1 for the mid-80s. I watched that when it was new. They did one recently that my daughter watched. I think what it's called. It was a Transformers. But it was really slick looking. It was like computer animation. It looked really good. Boy, this is like being like obstinate. This is burnt cadmium red, by the way.
you've got kind of a jacket on. So that's what we're going to paint. dissertation up here what do we got had to retire one of my oldest paints last night had the old Vallejo flat red for 14 years and finally dispensed the last bit of paint I have a new bottle and it's not the same color I heard that I heard that there was a problem with their with their paint matching and I don't remember what the reasoning is well that stinks Yeah, this is this is the flat red. Maybe yours looks the same as mine, but I don't know. I heard there was a problem with them being able to reproduce paints. I forget what it is. I for, I forget what it what it what it was. Somebody told me about it. I didn't find out on my own, so All right, let's add a little bit of this red to that. Gotta be careful, this guy doesn't end up looking like Santa Claus. Let this phone wake up when I touch it. Okay. Yeah, just making sure I don't have any messages from my daughter because I don't have the volume on it. If I put the volume on it, it doesn't come on. I don't know. I'm not really interested in figuring that shit out. It's a phone and a video camera. Is that one of them? Yep. Why 
Why can't I go to that screen? Here we go. I wonder if the solution is, there's actually an option to not let anybody who isn't subscribed to the channel to post. And I wonder if that would stop the spammers or they would just register anyways, or maybe it's just not worth their time to register, just go somewhere else. I don't really, I really don't understand what the hell their angle is. What do they post? They just po post random messages to a bunch of people and you know, they get a, a hundredth of a cent uh, every time that they post one, regardless of anybody w watches their stuff. I don't know. It seems like it'd be a lot easier. Just go get a real job, dude. Go get a real job. I'm afraid I think it's time to go ahead and do his face. Again? It was always fumbles. Let's see. Where do we have that? Right here. The fumbler. Try that or do something where you have to be a subscriber for X amount of time. Yeah. Maybe. It hasn't gotten too bad. Luckily, they're just putting gibberish on there, not putting links to child porn or something like that. That would be bad. There's never a place to put that. All right. Um... This has got a lot of, that one's got a lot of buildup. I might have to clean the inside of that one after a little while. Okay. 11 viewers. 11 viewers watching. <laughs> Five Russian spammers. <laughs> Little early for that. I shouldn't keep that up. I don't enjoy singing, nor do I think I'm good at it. You don't need to hear my singing, and you don't need to see Mitch's feet. I said, I bet there's somebody on here that watches this for, for Mitch's feet's content as Awkward as that may seem, you know. I actually know of one person. I don't know that many people. But I know one person. Is it just one? Because I feel like I've heard it before. They just outright don't like feet. They don't even like their own feet. Almost like, you know, um, they have a phobia against feet or something like that. Like, you know, you hurt. You, there's been these stories where people don't like, they don't believe. It's a mental problem. They don't believe some part of their body is really part of their body. So they find a way to try to amputate it or something like that. Maybe not to that extreme, but. Yeah, they. They don't like anybody's feet, I guess, <laughs> including their own. That's a bit extreme, but okay.
let's add this to this. I've got a ways to come up because this got to be pale for several reasons. What is the best star DBA 3.0 starter army? Uh, I always suggest what you're interested, whatever it is that you're interested in. And then if you don't have anything particular interest, man, they're damn spammers are hitting hard. Um, I always I always suggest, you know, if you don't know what you're going to get into, go get the Romans and the Carthaginians. Don't go do the Polybian Romans and the the Polybian Roman is is I always recommend that as a good starter army. Um, in particular, uh, it's easy to paint. It's um, it can it's easy to learn with. Um, it's got a minimum of different troop types. It's easy to command because a lot of their guys don't take a lot of pips to move them around. And, you know, but again, if, if you want to build knights or something like that. Uh, ha, a non-Russian span bot this time. Yeah, I don't know. I just call them Russians because they used to come in and they had these Cyrillic na names. Their names would be like in Cyrillic. Um, Russians should leave me alone. I at least painted a Russian army. Go bug people that haven't painted a Russian army, huh? <laughs> Still better than that one guy that wanted to start a jihad on my channel. Guy got upset because the Egyptians didn't win in a conflict we had. In the game, hey, I'm trying to win with them. Just a game, pal. It's just a silly little game. Yep, that's the two. That's the two armies I'd recommend. The only reason I wouldn't recommend those two armies if you're playing with a group and everybody already has those two, pick something different. Pick something different. I always suggest people, it's, you know, pick whatever your heritage is. Unless you don't like where you come from. Like, you know, maybe you're part Polish and you don't want to be Polish. Well, maybe don't do them. But um, generally, yeah, do whatever the hell you are. Unless you hate your own people. <laughs> if you're at odds with your tribe. super sluggish all of a sudden. There's like no coffee to be found. Mm. It's too late too. I don't want to have coffee at this time. I'll be up till three in the morning. It's a work day tomorrow. My next two are late Imperial Eastern Roman Eastern and early Visigoth. Okay. Yeah, those are good too. Those are good too. All right. 
Other than the mustache, do we have the face done? Yeah, I guess so. All right, this is the part where we got to decide what color to do underneath him. And I think I'm going to leave it black. I think I'm going to leave his sleeves in black. The cuffs, we'll do the cuffs the same color the hat is in. Kind of like a gray leading to white, but because um, they're kind of furry looking. Um, but I'm going to leave the shirt, the undershirt in black. So it has some black on them. And same thing with the pants. Let's get this right here. Okay, Man, my back's hurting all of a sudden. Oh, I can't be on that screen. I don't, can't see what's on there. 13 people. Okay. Here it is in crappy quality. Be right back.
<laughs> okay. Take a look at something here. See if I can do this without creating a mess. I have a book called uh, I believe it's this one. Medieval Warriors by Tim Newark has a lot of artwork by none other than Angus McBride and uh, I believe there's a plate in here of Dracula himself yeah this is the one where he's like all freaking decked out in like plate yeah He's got red trappings. Oh, look, here we go. Here's the festivities right here. Here's the juicers getting ready to sit on one of those. Bring his folks over to get juiced. Okay, so that's how I end up with a bunch of things over on my, on my couch. Okay, so I'm going to make his hat a little brighter. A little brighter red. Just trying to avoid him looking into, like, freaking Santa Claus. It's easy. I could fix it, but, uh, you know, why? Do it right the first time if you can. And the horse trappings, the horse straps and stuff are also in red in many of the pictures. So we are going to do that because it ought to pop out nicely from the, from the horse from, that happens to be really dark. But we're going to use a different red. I don't know that it's going to make that much of a difference, but we're going to use scarlet. There's a little bit less, a uh, little bit more orange in it. A little bit more vivid.
This figure has a lot more details than most of the Essex figures do. stop because I'm sleepy but I mean I may not have a choice I may not have a choice how long have we been on here an hour and 18 minutes Yeah, I can't do black boots with them too. We need something that's going to pop on this guy. <sighs> and I'm purposefully not using yellow to highlight the red. I generally don't like to do that. I don't mind if it looks a little. Washed out. If you're just adding it in a few places, it doesn't look washed out. Sometimes I add yellow, but usually I don't. Usually I don't do that. Hot pink. Ah, that's a bit much. He's not that kind of vampire. <laughs> All right. So he's got pants, which we said those were going to be black. Oh, I actually saw a picture of him with red boots. I think that's a little too much red, though. I mean, you could just go bananas with stuff. I want to say there was a picture of him that I saw that he was wearing... Red boots. Not going to do that. I'm going to do that lighter colored one. So. You like that, right? Not that kind of vampire. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to use a light. Let's use... Let's use a brown color, so you can still tell it's brown. You don't have to add these other weird colors in there. This flatter should be fine. Oh. No, it's not going to be that bright. This is going to be the starting point for it.
<laughs> oh. Man, the yawning's killing me tonight. I don't think I stayed up that late. Let's just let's not add any more core color to it. Let's just add white to it. Let's see what we get. A little bit more. Let's do his, um, let's refresh the black on here. So the sleeves are black and these pants are black. stop painting soon because I am just I'm falling asleep as exciting as this guy is that and my upper my or upper shoulders are hurting which is something that never happens painting wise No, I thought this was the buff. <sighs> oh, I'm dying over here. It's, it's my shoulders that are hurting more than anything else. Let's see what we can do. Come on, we got to keep going. What time is it? Eight? Man, it's early. Eight. 
It's early. This has got to have a, I think I'm going to call. I'm just, I'm in, probably take some Advil, lay down a little bit. How strange. I don't think I was uh, looked at anything heavy. Hmm. Well, anyways, we got a bit done on him. He's going to be the only one that's read it, the red and gray motif, uh, red and black motif on the stand. So, well, to be continued. Thanks for stopping by, folks. And uh, sorry I couldn't do it a little bit longer, but I'm kind of in pain right now. I'm uncomfortable. I don't know about in pain. So, we shall continue later on this week. And we'll.